Okay, I'm in. Can you hear Hello. me? Yep, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, perfect. So, Gabrielle, uh, if awesome. you want to start answering questions, and by the way, people for the for the stream, I'm actually on a phone call right now, so the quality might be a little bad, but we're trying our best. Hello. Uh, thanks for attending my talk. I see four questions on the user part. I'm going to answer them. Okay. So the first one is, uh, can you put your test script some, up somewhere? Uh, yes, they are very simple scripts. Uh, I'll find a way to distribute them somehow. Uh, that's, so that's an easy one. The second one is more difficult. It's more difficult. It's the differences between e shell and vterm. So at the very basic level, the main difference is that vterm is implemented with as a bridge between Emacs and an external library, which means that most of the code base is actually C. It's not Emacs, but uh, this is is a critical difference uh, in terms of performance, in terms of speed, and all the other uh, features that we can inherit from this library. So this term is similar to a real terminal. It's not as uh, it's not like a shell. It's a real terminal emulator that can actually uh, display, like manipulate the terminal in pretty much any way. Whereas e shell is simply a shell, a way to interact with your system. In the GitHub page, we have uh, more uh, complete discussion about this topic, and where we compare vterm with e shell, with shell, with NC term as well. I think. Um, so, I, I think uh, just to conclude on this, I think e shell and vterm are somehow orthogonal in the sense that vterm is for a full, complete terminal experience, whereas e shell is more for specific tasks, at least, uh, which are not like terminal uh, interfaces, you know, like page talk, this kind of stuff. Uh, the next question is. Uh, is there a plan to avoid completion, the initial completion step? So since vterm is based on, again, on an external module, we need to compile this module. And we're using the dynamic module system to be able to interface with this module. And this requires us to compile the module at least the very first time you start vterm. Uh, I don't think we can do without that in the near future. Uh, we need to compile this. and we must, there's no way around. It's, we cannot simply distribute the module. Um, in long end, if, if you want to think very long term, maybe, uh, but I, I think there's no current plan to avoid the compilation as the very first step, the first time you uh, run vterm. However, all the subsequent times, you will not have to compile vterm. Um, so for uh, question four, it's, uh, I have a nice looking prompt, thanks. Uh, and if, there, if there's a Git repo where you can see it or something like that. So if you go on my GitHub repo, I have a dot .files repo, but well, look at that. It's terrible. It's uh, super updated. So I've been meaning to publish it for like years and I haven't done it. So don't look at that. My prompt is actually extremely simple. I think it's the pure prompt, prompt from uh, ZSH or FISH, depending. Uh, and I think I didn't do anything but like maybe tweaking the colors a little bit. Okay, Gabriel, uh, just sorry to interject. If you could just take one more question. Yes, the last question is as already an answer, which is uh, will it work with uh, Emacs Terminal? So minus NW, and the answer yes, it works without any problem with uh, Emacs Terminal. So you can run a terminal inside Emacs inside of Terminal, and you can continue paying up as much as you want. Okay, okay. I think that's it. Okay, I any question? Uh, oh, sorry. For thanks you. for. Thank you. No, th thanks for uh, attending this talk. Well, thank you so much for giving it. So I'm in, back to you. You are now unmuted. Thank you very much to Gabriel for the awesome talk and for taking live questions. And also many thanks to Leo for getting through to Gabriel via phone um, in the face of Gabriel having technical difficulties uh, with using the blue button.